What if you could rip audio from a TV show or a music streaming service such as Apple? And what if you could take that audio into your Pro Tools system and analyze those immersive mixes? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that using the Sphere Virtual Sound Card. This is Alex with Alex Pro Mix, let's go. Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to Alex Pro Mix, your favorite channel to learn everything about immersive audio. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool hack on how to rip audio from a streaming service for TV shows and also for music if you're on a Mac. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with the Sphere Virtual Sound Card. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so first things first, let's set up our sound card, virtual sound card on the Mac to Sphere 16. So on the volume icon, I'm gonna click on this and choose Sphere 16, okay? Next up, I'm gonna open up Audio MIDI Setup, click Audio Devices and select Sphere 16 Monitor. And I'm gonna configure the speakers in this configuration. So right here, you're gonna see a 3D image of a 714 Atmos surround room, as you can see it displayed here on the configuration. And the way that you wanna configure it is based on the channel configuration from the Dolby renderer. So let me go ahead and jump to the Dolby renderer. Take a look at our room setup and you'll see the routing. Left channel is one, right channel is two, center channel is three, LFE is four, and then everything else follows. Five, six, seven, eight for the surround channels. 9, 10, 11, 12 for the ceiling channels. So one, two, three, four, it's gonna be left, right, center, LFE. Cool. All right, so let's jump back to audio MIDI settings. And here left channel is gonna be sphere monitor one. Right channel is gonna be sphere monitor two. Center is gonna be sphere monitor three, subwoofer four. And then everything is just gonna scale down five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way down to the bottom, which is gonna be number 12. So with this channel configuration, now I can stream any application, whether it's Apple Music, music from Apple Music that's mixed in Dolby Atmos, or a TV show that's mixed in Dolby Atmos and bring that into my DAW. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna go to Pro Tools. And in my system, I'm using uh, Pro Tools Ultimate. I'm using the Avid Matrix Studio, which is the sound card that's supported by Pro Tools that supports Dolby Atmos. And this is what I'm using to play back music and mix music in my speaker configuration. Now with that, you're gonna see here on the setup playback engine that I'm using the HD native Thunderbolt. This is the native sound card, if you will, for the Avid Matrix Studio to work via HD native. If I was using HDX cards, this would be the HDX. But in my case, it's HD native, but the same configuration works for both. In fact, in HDX, you want to enable the hybrid engine. Next up below, we're gonna select main playback engine and aux IO to ignore errors during playback. And that's basically it. Click OK. Now let's configure our IO. We're gonna go to setup IO. Under input, click aux IO. And on input, you're gonna select sphere 16 mod. Click OK. And now if you scroll all the way to the right, you're gonna see the sphere 16 monitor all the way to the right. These are virtual channels that allow you to route audio from one application to another, okay? So the first one defaults to channels one and two, and we wanna change that. We wanna set this from stereo to 714. As soon as you do that, it's going to clear out the path, the original path that's created, and it's gonna give you this pencil icon. When you click on this pencil, just click on this available channel, which is channel one, and it will automatically draw out all the rest of the channels, which is really cool because it automatically defaults to the Dolby configuration, which is left, right, center, LFE, and then all the surround channels. Now, before you move on, you wanna delete these other channels, basically channels three through 12, and that's it. We're gonna click okay. Next up, we're gonna create a audio track. So let's go to audio track, Select 714, audio track, and I'm gonna call this 714 RIP. Cool. All right, the input of the audio track automatically defaults to the Sphere 16 monitor channels one through 12, because that's set to the 714, and this is a 714 track. And then the output of this track, I'm going to assign it to the bed. 
which is going to be the Dolby render. Now I'm going to activate the input for monitoring, hit play on a TV show. I have one loaded right here. And we should see some meters. There it is. Let's go ahead and record that. Okay, very cool. Let's go ahead and stop recording and let's zoom in and analyze the mix. So the top lane is left, the center, the next one is center, then it's right, the surround channels, and then everything else. This lane right here, I believe is the LFE. And then here are the overheads. Okay, so let me just go ahead and play that back as a loop. And we'll take a look at the Dolby renderer. There's information there. It shows you all the channels, left, right, center, LFE. There's some information there and the surround channels. So very quickly, I was able to stream audio in real time from one application such as Apple TV, bring it into Pro Tools, rip that, and run that through the renderer. That's awesome. Now, a couple of caveats here, which is this does not preserve whatever binaural settings are attached to that ADM file, but it's really cool to be able to rip channels from a immersive mix, if you will, into a DAW and be able to analyze that mix. All right, so let's go ahead and stop and do another run. I'm just gonna go ahead and enable the record again, and this time I'm gonna stop Apple TV, and let's launch music instead. Now I do have a spatial audio playlist that I've created uh, with all the material that I've worked on. You guys can find that Alex Pro Mix on Apple Music. Now before I do that, there's a couple of settings you need to configure in Music Player in Apple Music to work with Dolby Atmos. So let's go to Preferences, Playback, right here, Dolby Atmos, we're gonna choose Automatic. Click OK, and I'm gonna hit this first song by Jeff Megan, Just Say When. Okay, cool, it shows the Dolby logo there. Jump to Pro Tools, hit Record. There we go. As you can see, there's not a lot of information, if any, on the center channel and the LFE channel. Not every mix that you do in Atmos has to have uh, audio information on those channels. Depends on the style and depends on the vibe and depends on what you're really gonna do with the mix. But you know, the lead vocal came in right there, but the LFE is basically, nothing's going on in there and that's perfectly fine. So we'll hit stop and we'll loop this and let's see it in the renderer. Okay, let's go to the renderer and there it is. Left, right channel, very strong. That's drum space and vocals for the most part. Center channel, lead vocals, and then the surround channels and everything else. So as you can see, it's an amazing way to be able to stream audio from one application to another and be able to analyze mixes. A step further that you can take with this is basically isolate those channels in your room or even if you're working on headphones to kind of get an idea what other mixers are doing with immersive mixes. It's real tricky to analyze mixes just using AirPods Pro. So if you are using headphones in a DAW, you get a little bit more access and controllability by dissecting these mixes and these channels. The last thing I'll mention is that with Pro Tools and with the Avid interfaces, you have to use this Aux IO system. Here you can choose any interface that you want. In fact, 99% of third-party interfaces, you don't have to do this like extra jumping over hoops because the native interfaces support multiple inputs and outputs. But with Pro Tools, you have to be very particular about selecting HD native or HDX and then enabling the hybrid engine. But the steps still follow where you go to Setup IO, and you choose the aux IO accordingly. Just ensure that for the input, you select sphere, set this to 714, and redraw the channels, and you will be able to stream audio from an application that supports streaming music or streaming shows, and rip that into your favorite DMW. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that this was really helpful and useful for your immersive mixing journey. Again, my name is Alex with Alex Pro Mix. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the comments or on the chat below. Also, feel free to contact me on my website. I'll leave a link on the video description. Thank you so much. Also, for Sphere, for Ginger Audio, Yaya, and the team, thank you guys so much for creating this amazing software, this virtual sound card and ground control Sphere. Again, I'll see you guys again real soon. Till next time. Peace.